Hello and salut! It is December 2021, it is the last weekend before Christmas, and I thought we'd go on a little trip to Versailles. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of Versailles. Literal millions of tourists come here every year. Which begs the question, what are we doing in a place like this? Well, in my last video, we began the story of the legendary Aerotrain, the experimental 1960s hover train that broke the world speed record for a rail vehicle twice. And we went to visit the old abandoned test track where the record breaking runs took place. And next year I'll do a video about the second part of that story. But a few of you in the comments were asking, do the two vehicles themselves still exist? Well, they do. And after a bit of Googling in French, I think I've tracked them down to an old warehouse on an industrial estate just outside Versailles. And today, we're going to try and find them. This is Versailles, home to the world-famous Palace of Versailles, which itself was home to the French royal family and is one of the most popular tourist attractions on the planet. And of course, we're here to see an industrial estate, so we're taking the number 429 bus and getting off on the edge of town just past junction 4 of the N12. The two historic aerochain vehicles belong to an association called the Friends of Jean Bertin. He was the engineer behind the idea, and they are the same people who very kindly gave me permission to use their incredible archive footage in the last video. In fact, the man who answered my email was one of the test drivers himself. I'll link the website below if you want to see more photos and find out more about what they do to keep the memories of the Aerotrain alive. But because the association doesn't have any facilities of their own, the two machines are currently stored in a warehouse that belongs to a completely different association called Univem. They're a group of volunteers who look after a collection of historic military vehicles, and in a stroke of luck, they had a bit of space at the back of their building, which has provided a temporary home for the aerotrains for the last 25 years. I think I'm allowed to be here. Now, although they call this a museum, it's really just a group of volunteer enthusiasts with a warehouse, and they don't sell tickets online or anything like that. All I know is that it's supposed to be open on Saturdays when the volunteers come down and work here, and according to their website, you can just push the door and come in. Which is not quite what that notice says. But luckily at this point, someone emerges from the front door. He turns out to be a friendly volunteer called Yannick. And he takes me to see something under a cover at the back of the building. And there's no mistaking what that is. This is Aerotrain number two, which reached 422 kilometers an hour in 1969. It's honestly amazing to see it in real life right in front of me. It still looks incredible and it's such a unique piece of transport history. There's nothing else like it on earth. Apart from the vehicle right next to it. Si possible, oui, ce serait cool. On peut ah, je peux juste mettre la caméra là-dedans Je ne sais pas s'il y aura assez de lumière. Mais... Euh, non, euh... pas trop. <rire> ah, super This is, of course, Aerotrain number one. And you can really see the difference here between the two machines. Number one was much closer to being an actual train, with a big cab at the front for the driver, and enough space in the back for three or four passengers to sit very comfortably. Whereas number two was basically a fighter jet on rails, and was built purely to test just how fast they could go. I'm still finding it hard to believe that these two pioneering record breakers have spent most of the last 25 years hidden under a cover at the back of a warehouse. But then Yannick tells me there's one more little hidden treasure here. Mais ils viennent assez fréquemment pour pour bricoler en fait. Parce que en plus des aérotrains, ils ont un un truc qui est au fond là. C'est un un véhicule autonome. Ah oui. Ils sont en train de restaurer. Ils sont en train de, de travailler dessus en ce moment. Quoi. 
This autonomous vehicle is technically an Aerotrain 2. It's a later project that Jean Bertin moved on to in the 1970s, which used the same principles, but reimagined the original jet powered high speed hovertrain as a lightweight, low speed electric pod vehicle. And they're restoring it to working order for an exhibition in February in Paris, where there will be a 20 meter long track and you'll be able to ride on it. I mean, obviously any events happening in Paris in February are very much still to be confirmed at the moment, but I'll put a link in the description if you're an optimist and you want to buy tickets. And there we are. There's not a lot else I can tell you about these machines that we didn't already talk about in the last video. So do check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But if you'd like to visit Univem with their fantastic collection of historic military vehicles and aero trains, it's a half hour ride from central Paris to Versailles Rive Gauche, followed by 10 minutes on the 429 bus. Facilities at the site are very basic. There's a porter cabin toilet and that's about it. But entry is completely free. Just turn up on a Saturday and say hello. And it's relatively accessible. There's no steps anywhere apart from, unfortunately, the toilet. Meanwhile, this is my last video before Christmas. So best wishes to everyone, whatever you're celebrating and especially if you're working. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.